Hello, I'm Fred Rowe from Sarah Fly Fishing Guide Service. I teach, guide, write, and lecture on fly fishing in Eastern Sarah's since 1982. Well, let's get to this week's fly fishing report. Well, let's start with the Upper Owens River. It's starting to see some hatches. The pale morning dun mayfly is starting to hatch, and the fish are starting to respond to it. The big trophy fish are pretty much gone, and the grasshoppers haven't shown up to get some bigger fish coming up. So most of what we're catching are pan-sized, 8 to 12 inch wild browns and rainbows. Well, let's go over to Hot Creek. Hot Creek's been tough. It's supposed to be a selective type fishery where there's so many insects of one species hatching that the fish just selectively feed on that one insect. And it just hasn't been fishing that way. I've been finding the fishing this last week to be really tough up there. We're primarily nymphing it. And even at that, we're not ripping fish right and left. I'm averaging two, three fish a session up there, which is really slow for Hot Creek at this point in time. So you can fish it, but just be aware, it's fishing a little tough right now. I think this cold front that's come through has messed up the insects a little bit. Or maybe it's lack of water because of the drought that's messing the insects up. I right, let's head over to Crawley Lake. It's having its own little problems, but it's getting a little bit better. The algae's blooming, and then there's the, um, oh, hatch of, what do you call them? Anyways, I can't remember the name of it. But a little guy that everybody hates because once he gets out in the water, the fish gorge on him, and they can't feed on him. And so once that's going on, the fishing kind of shuts down. But the boats are really starting to get into a few fish right now. They're fishing them in 15 to 30 feet of water, and the same flies, um, copper and black, silver and black, gray, and then the uh, albino barren, which is a uh, wine-colored fly, is what's working. And remember to vary the depth you're fishing them as the day progresses and light hits the water. Fish it anywhere from three inches off the bottom to up to three feet off the bottom. Now, I've been taking the time to fish some of the freestone streams like Rock Creek and Bishop Creek, and I got to say, that's where I've been doing my best fishing right now. Those creeks produce opportunistic fishing, fish your favorite dry fly up there, which for me is an elk caracatus or an Adam's parachute. Uh, fish it with a dropper underneath like a gold rib tear's ear, and we're catching rainbows, browns, and brook trout. And so that's been really fun. All right, over the lower Owens River, it's up to 225 CFS, and we're fishing that fairly well. Got to work it down deep, got to be careful wading, 225 is weightable, but it's starting to approach that upper end. You want to be careful of what you're doing out there, waiting. Uh, we're fishing hare's ears and beadhead flashback pheasant tails down on the bottom. Not really seeing much in the way of any hatches. I've seen a few small mayflies in the blueing olive version, size 20. The fish are not coming to the surface for them. Late in the evening, like 6 or 7 o'clock till dark, there is some caddis activity going on, and that's worth fishing size 16 or 18. Well, let's go over to Bishop Creek Canal. That has been fishing good, nymphing it. And I like using my Euro nymph rod over there, and I'm fishing stoner nymphs and green and gold wire prince nymphs in there and catching the wild browns up to 14 inches, and that's been fishing great. Well, I'm Fred Rowe from Sarah Bright Dot fly fishing guide service and I can be found on Instagram or Facebook or on my webpage at sierrabright.com.